Minnesota Vikings probably had the most frustrating win I have seen as being a fan that covers the Vikings team over the past couple of years. The win versus the Lions did not feel like a win. It did not feel like a win where you can carry momentum into the next week. And I think the number one reason, as you guys see by the title of the video, they play like it's 1950. They have no faith in their quarterback. They show no trust in Kirk Cousins, who frankly has given them every reason this season to trust him. There seems to be a disconnect on offense from present day football, and they just seem to be five years behind the current day modern day offense. Anyways, thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. Vikings offense, Vikings football. Looks like it's 1950. I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I think that and why it is true. Uh, again, like the video. It would really mean a lot to me. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. This is a weird, weird week because a win could take us to 500 and then we're sitting back and we're saying we could be 4-2 with huge wins versus the Seahawks and the Cardinals and on the road in Carolina. So this, listen, this week means everything. This is the season. This is before the bye. I will be talking about why the Vikings need to update their offense right now. All right, so what I mean by 1950s football, when we're watching the Vikings, it could just be my initial eye take. I took yesterday to kind of listen on uh, what everybody was saying around the Vikings Twitter. A lot of it's on Zimmer, and I get that. However, I think the biggest problem is they just don't have an updated offense. I love this Dalvin Cook Madison running back duo. I love them. I love CJ Ham. I love when we get downhill and we can run the ball. I think a prime example of why the Vikings need to change their offense and change it immediately, and if not by next week, by the bye week, that's when the offense needs to change into a more pass-first offense. Like I was saying, I love Madison, I love I love Cook, I love CJ, I love running the football, but it bothers me when they come in in two tight ends and a fullback and a running back, or a tight end, fullback, running back, and it's always on first and second down. The Vikings have not had a second half offensive touchdown since nine minutes left in the Cincinnati Bengals game. That was the last time we had a second half touchdown. And I think that has to do with the offensive play calling and the offensive philosophy. If we look at the game from the past week, for all those that watched the Browns Chargers game, the Browns, Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, they got the best running attack in probably the last five years next to the Ravens. It's incredible. They got a great defense, good wide receivers. They have everything. And they couldn't beat the Chargers because the Chargers obviously had the better quarterback in Herbert, but they also trusted him. They went for it on fourth down. They were risky because that's the new modern day NFL. You go for it on fourth and four. And the thing that irks me about the Vikings too, and this can be on Zimmer as well, there's 40 seconds left with two timeouts in the first half. And you are playing the Lions. And you have Justin Jefferson, KJ Osborne, and Adam Thielen. And Kirk Cousins playing the best football of his career. And you decide to take a knee. You decide to take a knee. When you could go get three points, even if it's just three points, you may view it as, ah, we don't need to risk that for just three. Three is everything. And then let's just say you get down the three in one big chunk play, and then you might be setting up for seven. I just don't get the philosophy. And with, when I say it's a 1950s style offense, it's because it feels like it's run, run, pass. You know, the blueprint is out on how to stop the Vikings. You get them the third and long, and they consistently cannot keep converting third and third and longs just like every other team in the league and you know what we've been seeing with the kansas city chiefs what teams have been doing to them they play two deep safeties and they say you will run the ball you are not going to throw the ball you may run it a couple times and you can get five yards you will need to run the ball the entire game that's what teams are playing the chiefs are doing how teams are playing the vikings they're saying you will not run the ball because we know yes you can throw the ball and you can be effective but we know you in your in your psyche, in the back of your mind with the Vikings offense quarter, he knows you will come back to it. I mean, it really blew my mind with the play calling these past two weeks. It really did. I mean, it's really concerning because, yes, Madison Cook, they're great players, and you can still get them the ball. I'm not saying you abandon the run. But I say against the Panthers, you throw the ball 40 to 50 times. Your advantage is on the outside about every single team you play. That's where your advantage is. And it just makes me mad because we have... KJ Osborne, I think he's special, and I think he's way better than we're treating him on this team because I think he could go somewhere else and put up way better numbers than he has already this year, and he's had pretty good numbers. But also Justin Jefferson. I mean, he had 124 yards, and it it didn't even feel like he was trying. That's the thing. Like, go give him more balls. Like, give him more opportunities. Like, I love running the football, but eventually running the football, you will only score around 20 to, like, 30 points. 
and that's if you're really effective and that's if you go get touchdowns sometimes you need those cheap plays like and when we were playing the cardinals the rondo Moore touchdown you need those plays you need those bombs over the top and you can get cook and madison the ball in other ways but you need to just you need the pass to almost set up the run the blueprint is out on the vikings and i'm i'm really getting sick of it and i think we are too it just feels like we watch the same offensive game plan every week and it doesn't change between team to team and that's the thing that i think frustrates us is the nfl you have to change week to week you look at the cowboys what they're doing you know the browns they don't have the guys on the outside that i think we do but the cowboys do and they have two great running backs and yes they may have a better offensive line than we do slightly but they still balance it out they still take the pass whenever the team gives it. I mean, also, to put the faith in Kirk Cousins. Like, you look at the, let's just say the uh, best two teams in the AFC right now, Chargers, Bills. What do they do? They put their faith in their quarterback. They go for it on fourth down. They give him confidence. What does the best team in the NFC do? Like, Matthew Stafford, McVay lets Stafford do what he wants. Brady does what he wants. Like, that's Rodgers does what he wants. Like, you don't take the ball out of your quarterback's hands with 40 seconds left in the first half. You let him go finish that game. You, I mean, God, the Vikings should have hung 45 on the Lions. And they had it. They had the opportunities the entire game. But they just said, no, we're going to run the ball. You know, Zimmer's way and all that. And it's just got to stop at this 1950 football. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Skull Vikes.